The WordPress audio block lets you provide playable audio files within your pages and posts. Users can play the audio from their browsers or download them to listen offline. This is a great way to provide music, podcasts, or other types of audio files for your visitors to hear and use. To add an audio block, click on the plus icon, search for audio, and select the first option. Alternatively, you could type forward slash audio and hit enter to do the same thing. Now that we're here, we can either upload an audio file, pick one from our media library, or add one with a URL. Once you upload your audio file, it will be displayed as an audio player complete with a caption where you can enter the name or other information about the file. As you can see, it includes the basic audio player options. On the right are these three dots that open options for the user. This is where they can find the download link as well as the playback speed control. The audio block toolbar is placed above the block. It appears when you select the block and it includes fewer tools than most WordPress blocks. This first option lets you transform the block to a file block group or columns. Then of course we have the drag and move tool as well as the ability to change the alignment. This includes wide width and full width. Replace of course lets you replace the audio file without deleting the block. You could select one from your library, upload it or add it by URL. The three dots includes the standard settings found in most WordPress blocks like copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, or remove block. The caption has another set of options that includes settings for bold and italic text, links, and more options. Of course, clicking on the more options will show you inline code, inline image, keyboard input, straight through subscript, superscript, and text color. Now let's check out the settings in our sidebar. Press the settings icon at the top right of your screen to see them. Audio settings lets you choose how the audio player handles the file. Setting it to autoplay will of course start the file when the page loads. Setting it to loop makes the file start over when it reaches the end. You could also choose how the preload works. This determines how much of a file is downloaded when the page loads into the user's browser. Options include browser default, which leaves it up to their browser, Auto, this downloads the entire audio file, even if the user doesn't click play. Metadata, this downloads the text only, which is the basic information about the file. The audio file itself doesn't download unless the user selects to play the file. And none, no information or data is downloaded automatically. And finally, the advanced settings. This includes fields for the HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. The HTML anchor is a URL that allows you to link directly to the block. The additional CSS classes field lets you add CSS classes to style the block. And there you go. That's really all there is to the WordPress audio block. Be sure to check out all of our other block videos available now on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.